welcome to this video. So the animation you've just seen is what we're going to be creating today. Um, we're not going to be creating the whole animation, but I'm going to be showing you how to create the speaker that pumps when the music plays. So with that being said, let's jump in and get started. So the first thing we need to do is to create the speaker. Now there are different ways in which you can tackle this. I'm going to go to geometry and then I'm going to choose sphere and I'm going to create a small sphere. I'm going to press the F key to go to the front view. And I'm going to right click on this and choose convert to editable poly. I can then select the bottom half of the sphere and press delete. Then I'm going to press the borders and select the borders and I'm going to convert this to an edge selection by holding down the control key, key and clicking edge. Then going into the perspective view, I can simply maximize the viewport, use the scale tool and just push this to where I want it to be. So I can move this around and get the general shape of my speaker. So let's see something like this. And I'm going to push this out and then push this down like this. And then we can add a few extra, um, a few extra edges in here to give it more detail. So let's do this and I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to add a bunch of detail in here. This is going to help with the actual animation or the, the deformation of the um, actual polygons here. Okay. So we have something like this. Now I'm going to turbo smooth this to make it look much nicer. Okay, we can add perhaps two and we get this very basic speaker shape. Now this is not exactly the speaker that you see in the animation. This is something that you can spend time on and make much better. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to select the polygons which I want to manipulate, the ones that I actually want to move up and down. So back onto the modify stack, I'm going to add an editable poly. And I'm going to select this uh, vertex. I'm going to select the one right here in the middle. And then I'm going to hold down the control key and click on the polygon tool. And that's going to convert that selection into a polygon selection. And then I can simply just choose grow. And I'm just going to keep clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking until I get to where I want it to be. So something like this looks to be pretty good. Okay, so I'm not going to select um, all of the speaker, although you could just leave this as it is and, and move on to the next step. But I just want this section to be the part that is vibrating. Okay. Now in order to make it vibrate, to make it move to the music, we need to add a modifier on here called ripple. So I'm going to press the R key and find this option that says ripple. And you can see that we got the amplitude uh, one and two. We're going to keep this to one by one. Now we have the wave, um, length and this is basically going to correlate as to how much the speaker is going to move based on the frequency of the music in which you're going to be using so i'm going to choose about 1500 and you can see that it's moving as i'm doing that so as i increase and decrease this you can see the movement and that's exactly what we want i'm going to keep the phase down here to um, zero and as you can see as i move this phase that's what's going to make the animation sort of pump the speaker, I uh, sorry, the music pump the speaker here. Now, how do we control that? Well, there are many different ways um, that we could do this. If we were to do this by hand, we can use keyframes, but we want Max to do it automatically. So how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is we need to open up something called the dope um, graph. So we go up here to where it says graphs. Okay, so graph editors, and we want to choose this one, um, dope sheet. And we're going to bring this into view. So the first thing we do, we see we've got sound here. If we double click on this, it's going to bring up a dialog box where we can bring in some sound. I am going to use some free sound that is from the YouTube library. And if I click on that and press play. So you can hear that that's the sound, the music being used in the, um, in the, uh, uh, in the introduction. So I'm going to press close on that. Now, this here, when we input the sound, is only so we can hear it on the timeline. And so speaking of timeline, we need to increase the timeline to however long that you want the animation to be. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to say it to be about 300. You may want to choose 600, 1,000, or if you want to make it for the whole song, that's completely up to you. Now, going back over to the dub sheet, we need to go to where it says Sphere 1. So remember, this is um, called Sphere 1 over here. This is relating to this model. We're going to extend the drop down here and then we have two options. We have a transform and modified object, uh, modified objects. 
and we've modified the objects and we used, okay, so you can see here, um, all these are the modifiers in which we have um, added to this. And the one we're interested in here is the one called Ripple. If we extend that, you can see that we get access to the different options within inside the Ripple, the Ripple um, editing um, section. And we want to choose this one that says phase. Remember when we increase or decrease the phase is how, is how the speaker um, moves. So in order to make the animation, in order to make it move and bounce about, what we need to do is we need to assign a controller. So we go to edit and we can choose controller and assign. Then we can choose the option here that says audio float. And then we want to choose the sound in which we want to use to make um, the speaker move. So which I choose the same song, the one that we just chose just a moment ago. Now below that we have some um, inputs. Um, so for example, if you wanted to, if you was going to record on your microphone and have something move, you can do that. Um, we have the sample thresholds and um, um, over sampling. Now below that we have the channel left, right and mix. So basically this is good if you want to maybe have a left and right speaker. As we only have one in this um, tutorial, we're going to choose mix. And then here we can see the min and max. Now if I just move this out of view, just like this. And I press play. You can see that the speaker is now moving to the music. If we increase or decrease this max, okay, into a negative or positive value, that is where we're going to be able to control the amount of, um, of how much this speaker pumps. So I'm going to press play and I'm going to start to increase and decrease this value so you can see. Okay, so the value that you use is really going to be uh, dependent on um, the appearance that you want. If you want something to be more over-exaggerated, you may want to increase this by a large amount. And if you don't, um, you just want to do more subtle, you can also do that. So once you've done that, we have the speaker that is now animated. And as we press play, you can see. So with that being said, that is how we create a speaker that is pumping to music. The rest of it is really up to you. You need to design your own speaker and have your own sort of camera animation. That's something you could do by yourself. Until then, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, thank you for watching and bye bye.